I'm getting ready to get in trouble here, but I'm going home. It's not about your swag. It's not about how well you can say it, Doc. It's about your perspective. What do you really want? Because the truth of the matter is, God ordains you. He ordains you to be fruitful. Shake your neighbor's hand and say, be fruitful, be, be fruitful. Ordains you to be fruitful. What's the problem? God is holding it up until you get your mind right. And this girl speaks a lesson to us. She actually doesn't get mad at God. She doesn't stay at home. She doesn't quit. She doesn't throw in the towel. But she goes on a fair. And she says, I'm not going to stop until God gives me what I'm asking for. And the Bible says that she is full of her complaints. Lord have mercy. She can't even get the words out but she's crying and speaking. So the preacher looks over and says, Lord have woman, mercy, this woman drunk. Went over there and said, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Drinking and coming to church. She said, no, sir, pastor, I, I'm not a daughter of the lie. But I got a complaint before God because I'm trying to figure out how other people can be fruitful. And I'm not fruitful. But what you have to understand is in her exchange with God, she got to the place that God wanted her to be. She said, God, if you give me a son, I'll give him back to you, which changes the purpose. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, change your purpose. Don't you dare build a big church for the purpose of having a big church. I might as well preach while I'm at it. Don't you dare want to be exalted for the purpose of being exalted. Don't you dare want to be a bishop for the purpose of being a bishop. But your desire should be, God, how can I be more fruitful? Cut away what you need to cut away. Sometimes you got to go back before you go further. Sometimes you got to go down before you go up. Sometimes you got to lose what you have in order to get a resurgence of more fruit. I need somebody to holler back at me, more fruit. Say it like you mean it, say more fruit. Now, I'm closing for real. When the girl got it together and said, God, I, I want a son so I can give him back to you. Then she had five more children because it wasn't about whether or not God wanted to give it to her. It was about God wanting her to have the right perspective. So Jesus tells us, he says, I want you to understand something that you didn't choose me, but I chose you. Mm. Get it in your mind that you're not here because you're so wonderful. But God chose you. Do I have anybody here that feels that God has chosen them? And the reason you got to know that God has chosen you is because when you're looking at external indicators for your success, it can be, be very deceiving. We live in a world where people are gauging you by numbers. 
how much money you have how many people are you looking at and because we're looking at houses and jets and cars to gauge our success our eyes have moved off of the prize but when you recognize that god called you to be fruitful then whatever you need to keep producing fruit then you can ask God for what you will. Nothing can stand in your way when your desire is to bring forth fruit. Buildings are not a problem. Life centers are not a problem. Ministry, feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, the, the, the urban initiative is not a problem. When you recognize the only reason I'm doing it is because I want to bring forth 